This great study was done on temperament. Oh my goodness gracious, the New York Longitudinal Study. Just Google it and just read about it. It's so fascinating. So they take 133 infants, and during the first year of life, the researchers, uh, Chess and Thomas, and they find out after that first year that 15% of the 133 were shy, 40% were easy, and 10% were difficult. And by the way, the 10%, most psychologists today would say it's between 15 and 20. It's, it's kind of changed, okay? So we say 65% of all children come into the world with one of these three types of temperaments. The other 35% are, are combinations of the three. Chess and Thomas wait 32 years. This is a longitudinal study. And you know, I like the, the longitudinal studies are the studies I believe in. 32 years later, they bring these people together. And what did they find out? The shy and the difficult children, as adults, well, their shy traits and their difficult traits were lessened quite a bit, so, which tells you something. During the early years, these negative traits of shyness and difficult behavior are intense. But as kids grow, the traits lessen in intensity. So by age 32, the shy people had developed social skills, but they were still basically shy. And the difficult temperament people uh, had, had um, you know, become more easier, if you will, more cooperative, cooperative, but they were still at core. They had those difficult traits. We should have sympathy for the mother of temperamentally difficult children, who, by the way, gravity has taken its toll. They have very bad posture. <laughs> they're all slumped over, you know, you know. And they're always looking up at the, always look up like this. And they're shaking their head. I, and, and to me, you know, she's a mother under siege, and the genes probably did come from the husband's side of the family, and she's taking the rap. <laughs> I think it's very unfair. If the temperamentally difficult child could speak upon coming out of the womb. Now, there have been many unsubstantiated reports. I don't know if they're true. But I've heard of doctors reporting that the kid came out of the womb smoking a cigar. I, I, don't, I don't know if it's true. One doctor said the kid came out of the, room looking, out of the womb looking for a fight. I, I don't think it's true, you know? In any event, let's, if, I think if a child who's difficult could speak upon coming out of the womb, they'd give you the finger like this, you know? And they'd say, let's get something straight right now. In this house, I have all the needs you have none. Your job, should you choose to take it, is to make sure that I'm having fun, 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 followed by more fun, and that I'm never bored. Your job is to make sure that I am loved unconditionally, even when I'm being totally obnoxious. Any questions? If not, let's get on with it. And that would be the temperamentally difficult child. Now, the big rule for dealing with temperamentally difficult children. When the difficult child is angry, we are calm. And so, so people say, well, how do you stay calm? <laughs> I say, the way you stay calm is through the plan where you rehearse the strategies and responses that you've already put on paper. You rehearse them. Again, without rehearsal, there can be no performance. If you rehearse the kinds of things you want to say when children answer you back, for example, and temperamentally difficult children, very disrespectful, I won't do it and you can't make me. I don't have to listen to you, and I love this. Who are you? <laughs> I've, I've been with temperamentally difficult children where they've talked like that, you know? I find myself looking around like this. Are you talking to me? <laughs> who, who are you talking to? In any event, what you don't want to do is, is say to a child in a loud voice, you know, don't you raise your voice at me! Because kids look at you like, they see. You know. So you want to um, 
speak the truth and you want to model the kinds of behaviors you want them to uh, perform.